Gammon awaits you. Very well, let me... Ah, just gives him more damage. I'm only doing this <coughs> just because I'm, you know, it's just this run. And we're just using the pistol and the, uh, and the bone cleaver or the soul cleaver. And what runes do we have? Oh, we still got this normal uh, boost stamina, boost HP, stamina recovery speed, and all damage reduction plus 4%. Um, so, because we've got excess uh, insight, uh, I'm just going to purchase some fire paper. Purchase, uh, not 57, but 10 of these. And 10 of these. Um, okay, let's go deal with the uh, blood soaked hunter first. So, I want to go to the underground corpse pile. playing with the bodies. Oh, so this is the last one. Right here. Testimony. And all these guys should get dead in here. Uh, what does his head say? Uh, the scalp of a horrible cleric, cleric beast indicating that Hunt Abrador, a healing church assassin, had killed the compatriot. Afterwards, he wore his ally's own scalp and hid himself away deep below in a cell. The church provided him with a single soundless bell of death to ensure their secrets would be kept. To turn into like the guardian of the uh, hunter's nightmare. To hunt any of a hunters coming to find out secrets. So there he is in his cell. Look who's here. Welcome to my quarters. I've never entertained a guest before. Are you going to kill me? After all you've done, kill me, as if to right your wrongs. <laughs> He's got mad. What is it? Aren't you going to kill me? Or perhaps beg my forgiveness? Well, leave off. What's done is done. <laughs> what is it? Or perhaps well, leave. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just I'm, I'm wondering what would have happened if I had picked up the other dialogue. Miss <laughs> Nothing changes. Such is the nature of man. What do we get? Oh, the blood letter. The weapon used by him. Just history repeating. We killed another fellow hunter. Oh god. Uh, the demented hunter weapon brandished by Braidor, the healing church assassin. The blood letter assumes its true and terrifying form after it draws upon blood from the inner reaches of one's body and soul. This is the only effective means of expelling tainted blood. Also, Bredar, isolated in his cell, continued to believe. 
Okay, nice. Maybe like a braid or run would be pretty good. New game plus. We got his uh we got his gear, we got his weapon. Um so next we're heading to I guess the uh the secret boss. So mid for away through this expansion we picked up a Lawrence's skull. So we're just gonna take a run up to uh to Lawrence's room. Like this can be I've, I usually hate running up here. Especially when I just jump. Absolutely hate that run back. I'm probably gonna have to do a few more of those soon, but got some bowl paper. And then we've got this figure. And this is Lawrence, the first vicar. I feel like this guy can be so much harder. Than cards at times. This guy's got three phases. Um, I can't remember what I'm. Just let him do his thing. That's how I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm just getting hit by everything right now. This guy is so much easier to stagger in a normal in a normal game. I 
hope if I could actually hit him. What? See anything with it now. <laughs> but we should probably back off. Not into the fire though. If you get in trouble, just try and back off. Such a pain in new game plus any of the new game pluses. But yeah, less of a pain in this one, which is nice. Makes things a little bit easier, but that was Lawrence anyway. Uh three phases. The only thing I suggest for this is just learn his moves. Uh once you kind of know what you're doing, it becomes so much easier. Um but yeah, it's just looking out for tells, seeing what movesets is going to do. He's got some jumping attacks. Most of the time he's just going to like swing from left to the right. Or hit downwards. So you want to be trying to like move to his sides. Uh, try and get those attacks on his big arm and his head. And you should have a chance to get some viscerals off of him. Phase 2 he just uh, lunges a lot more. Lunges forward a lot more. Um, gets a bit more range. And then third phase, he loses his legs and <laughs> falls on the floor. Uh, but the best thing to do is try and stick to his side. Uh, when he screams and stands still, get to his head. That's when you can unload for damage. Other than that, it's kind of like hit once, get ready to dodge. Hit once, get ready to dodge. That kind of thing. Um, okay. And good luck with that guy. So that's uh, this one done. Can we get any more? Any more? We can't get any more levels. Um, actually, can we? Farewell, good hunter. I've kind of, I've got a feeling I'm gonna waste all my. Uh... Um, all my blood echoes by doing this and then realizing. That I run out of uh, health files. Good files. We're not going anywhere else out this, it's just the next is like three bosses. Gammon away, go on. Very well, let me. Um, 
not what you get for the next one. I feel like we should get a bit of a elf, maybe. Just <laughs> a little bit more. Let's do that. 500 attack, 1067 health, 126 stamina. Uh, 204 defense. Seems not enough, but I'll try and do this. Um, let's get some quick silver bullets. It's probably going to be the thing that determines whether I can do this or not. Back to the lighthouse hut. 